Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we're going to show how to create an organic customized callout circle in HitFilm. Sometimes these are actually referred to as highlight circles as well, but we're going to create one that you can use quickly and easily. I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot, click OK, and then I'm going to add a grade layer. And the reason I'm adding a grade layer is because I want there to be a transparency regardless of whatever color I make the call out circle. So turning that back off, let me just real quickly create an elliptical mask here just to show what I'm doing, but I'm not going to end up using that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Generate folder and find the vector stroke effect, dragging it on here. And you can see that that has taken shape. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to use a preset. And the preset I'm going to use will be Quick Arrow. And if I play this, you can see how that goes. Now, I'm not real fond of exactly the keyframing of this. So I'm just going to come in. You can see that the basic idea is, is that it draws itself on and then it draws itself off. First of all, I'm not exactly sure why that keyframe is there because it's the same as that. So I'm just going to go and delete that. Let me pull these off a little bit and I just want to make it go a little quicker, make it draw off a little quicker. And then all of these, I want to make a Bezier. That's just a personal preference. I like the way that looks when it draws on and then when it draws off just feels better that way all right i can adjust the color here so i think i'm just going to go with red but that could be any color i want and i can also adjust the width of this but you'll notice that it's only adjusting to the inside that's because the mask is cutting off the outside half so if i go back to the mask and open up the shape properties i can go ahead and just add an expansion to that and so now this will grow either way as i write this up and I'll just make it about that big or so. From here, I am now going to go into the stylize folder and grab the rough edges effect, dragging it down below the vector stroke effect. Looking at the properties for the rough edges, again, I'm going to cheat and just use a preset. I'm going to use deckled edge. So now I've pretty much created a fairly organic looking call out circle but I'm going to go ahead and make a few adjustments to that. First of all, I'm not fond of smoke, but if I switch to emboss, yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it, right? And I can add, I can change things like how far out it goes so that it's not a complete circle or something like that. But if I really want to make this look nice, then what I will do is not use a pure elliptical mask, but instead just draw one myself. So I'm going to click and hold on the freehand mask and then select freehand path. Now that I have a freehand path, I can go ahead and select this. Now you'll notice right away that there's a problem and that is I have this big arrow here. That's because the preset that I used under the vector stroke effect actually has on the end shape a curved arrow effect. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. The start shape didn't have one to begin with, so it's fine. Coming back to the original mask shape, I can go ahead and keep drawing this until I'm happy with how this custom drawn effect looks. So now it draws on and then it draws off. And I can make any adjustments that I want to that. Perhaps I want it to look a little more like this, but it's sort of an organic looking drawing, right? Now, if I want, I can go ahead and make a few more adjustments here to the look of this, including under Fractal in the Rough Edges effect, Axis Scale, I can adjust the X axis and I can adjust the Y axis. And I think I'm going to bring the Y axis down a little bit, maybe expand the X axis, that sort of a thing, okay? When I'm happy with this, then I can grab both of these and right click on this and say create a preset placing it down here in my presets folder that way all i have to do is just draw my freehand path and then drop my preset right on now let's show how to use it in my video so i have this video of a park and i'm just going to drag this into the video slot and Nah, I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to right click and say insert a track so that I can drag my composite shot 
above it. So now you can see that this draws on and then will draw off. What I want to do is just grab that composite shot and let's say I want to highlight this sign here. Maybe I'll do that and then I'll just bring this in a little bit. Maybe rotate it slightly, something like that. Okay, maybe the other way. Yeah, like this. Okay. And so now I have this really nice call out effect that is in this shot. And it's really that simple. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.